Iwo Jima is unusually flat and featureless for a volcano island. The most prominent feature and the highest point of Iwo Jima is Mount Suribachi on the southwestern tip, a vent that is thought to be dormant and is 169 meters high. A large explosive eruption with pyroclastic flows at 6th century BC destroyed a previously forested island. As late as 1957 a large phreatic eruption occurred on the island, some 2 kilometers northeast of Suribachi. Eruptions have occurred from vents on the northwest shore since, the latest occurring in November 2021. Although 1,200 kilometers south of Tokyo, Iwo Jima was able to provide secure airfields within easy range of the main Japanese islands. The Battle of Iwo Jima between February 1945 and March 1945 was some of the fiercest fighting of the Pacific War, with Imperial Japan and the United States both suffering over 20,000 casualties. Joe Rosenthal's photograph of the flag raising on Mount Suribachi has become one of the most famous examples of wartime photojournalism and an iconic American image. Let's have a look at how the conflict evolved as captured by U.S. military cameramen. This is the Pacific as you know it. Wide stretches of water. But this is the Pacific as the Joint Chiefs of Staff view it. A battlefield. A vast fortress-studded plain on which key strongholds anchor a Japanese defense line guarding the heart of the homeland. The American front lines had advanced to Guam and Saipan. Ahead now stood Iwo Jima, the most heavily fortified island in the world. Buried deep underground lay 20 years of Jap preparation for murder. 20,000 of their toughest fighting men waited for us to make the first move. And they don't have to wait long. The Navy begins to soften up the island so we can land. Force take off to strafe and bomb. Gunboats move in close to work over enemy beach installations. six days in Marine Corps history. We watch the central control vessel. When this flag drops, our landing craft will head for the beach. advance on 3,000 yards of beach.
keeps us pinned down. We want to pull the beach over our heads like a blanket. Maybe medical corpsmen get our wounded out fast. Our tanks come ashore and grind inland. We're able to advance from Yellow Beach, but it's slow going. Run into trouble on Green Beach. From their fortified positions on Mount Surabachi, the chaps look right down our throats. We need help. We call the command ship standing offshore. Our message is received. The situation map is checked. The flight leader receives his instructions. from the air, supporting ships deliver point-blank fire. of continuous pounding, our patrols move forward. The mortar barrage searches out hidden machine gun nests. We keep a sharp lookout for snipers. Turner gives the order to cease fire. Our guns are quiet as they make the climb. We wait for a sign that Surabachi is ours. Surabachi is ours, a toehold on the southern tip of the island. But ahead, the main strength of the Jap garrison was entrenched in steel and concrete. The show was just beginning. Navy and Coast Guardsmen rushed supplies ashore for the big push north.
It was tough going. Many didn't make it. Crossfire ahead is murderous. Rocket trucks go into action. Remove our dead. There are heavy defenses on the ridges overlooking this plane. They draw a bead on us again. Chased us off there five times. We came back six. Breather. The injured are carried to the rear to advance again. We call for artillery. In two weeks, we have cleaned out plenty of Japs between here and Suribachi. But there's still a lot of island to be taken with thousands of Japs fighting from blockhouses, pillboxes, and caves. We have to go in and dig them out, one by one. Where we can't dig them out, we burn them out. It's an American fortress only four hours from Tokyo. Today, from your little island, giant striking forces are launched against the heart of Japan. Today, our planes and ships are blasting the enemy into ashes at the foot of Fujiyama.